And what colour stands out to you the most? Um, probably this one because the orange stands out against the grey background, so it's quite it's in your face. I quite like the red on this one actually. Kind of, it stands out because it's got a white background as well. So. Yeah, and I, I like this one for kind of similar reason to Noj, but um, I like the red. It's quite bold here, and then also the light background is kind of a, like a beigey colour, and it's contrasts against the black and the red. Yeah, it kind of just grabs your attention. Yeah. What images stand out to you? Um, I, th I think this one, this one stands out quite a lot. Um, I mean, you can see quite a lot of her body, and there's quite a lot of skin on the show, so I guess it would attract a male audience. So I think mean, that's quite, yeah, quite good. Um, I quite like the image on this one because uh, the colours that she's wearing kind of coordinates with the title layout and the, the background colour as well. For me, I quite like this one because it's quite unique, and you won't really see anyone else wear it. But then on this one, she wears quite a nice state statement necklace, which is different. Which magazine front cover do you like the most? Um, I think I quite like this one because it's um, simple, but also the Kim, it stands out because it's in bold pink. But then this one's also quite simple, but I like it because she looks more natural and it's more realistic. But yeah. Um, I Yeah, this one's definitely my favourite. Um, I really like the way that the titles here, they don't crowd out the picture, so it's quite it's a good focus on the, the girl. And also the red title and the black down here, but particularly the red, really stands out. Yeah, similar to Jack, this is this stands out for me because of the red writing and the white background, but it is a bit overcrowded with the writing. So, which front cover do you dislike the most? Um, I, yeah, I really don't like this one. Um, I don't like the way that there's so much text. It's kind of you're bombarded by text on this one, um, and I also think that. The discounts you got here, so ninety nine p, twenty percent off. Uh, it makes it look quite. It makes it look quite cheap and tacky. Yeah, I agree, Jack. With this one, it is it just looks really childish. The font is a bit childish, and the colours aren't that nice either. Um, I'm not really a fan of this one. I think it looks quite immature. Uh, also, it's overcrowded. It's just it's not appealing to the eye because you uh, there's so much on the page you can't focus on anything, and also the um. The photo is taken by paparazzi, it's not really professional, it doesn't give the professional look. It looks like a not really upmarket kind of magazine. On the front cover of a music magazine, does it help if the artist is well established and attractive? Yeah, definitely, because you're more um, enticed to pick up the magazine because you want to read about them and get to know them. Um, yeah, I agree with Zena. I think it's, it's definitely um, encouraging. So you see someone you know on there, like a celebrity, you want to know more about them, so there'll be articles in the magazine. I think also it helps if they're particularly attractive as well, because it makes you more likely to buy the magazine. Um, personally for me, I look up to celebrities and their style and everything, to, so to see what they look like on the front cover kind of helps me with like, my decisions on what to wear as well. What kind of um, prices would you suggest me charging for my magazine if I went for something like the L or... The, yeah, that one. Um, okay, so I mean, the magazine I read is The Economist, and that costs about four pound ninety nine, um, and I'm happy to pay that price if it's a good quality magazine. I think also by doing it as a ninety nine p kind of and instead of a pound on the like, just using tactical pricing, so you're more likely to buy it if you think it's cheaper. Okay, I think the pricing should be around four to eight pounds because um, if you pay more for it, you think it's more worth it and it's more high end. So yeah. Yeah, I agree with Nash on this one. I think you need to pay about 4 sort of price margin. Which content pages do you like and dislike? Um, for me, I really like this one because the headings um, are highlighted and they stand out for me. Um, for the exact opposite reason, I don't like this one. I don't like the way that it's quite bland and there's nothing that stands out apart from the picture. Um, but it seems that the, the page mainly focuses on the picture and not actually the text. Um, and I think, yeah, it could have something that jumps out a bit more. Um, I quite like this one because the subheadings are highlighted in different colours and also the black divides all the sections as well, which makes, you know, makes it easier to see what you're looking for. Perfect. Mm -hmm. What double page spreads do you like and dislike? Um, this one quite stands out because it takes up half of the double page spread and like when you're flicking through it stands out. Um, I mean, even though this one has one picture which is kind of, like, takes up a whole page, um, I think the image is quite childish because it's on the fun fair um, and it's not as clear. This one's quite a sharp image, it's kind of like quite nicely focused, um, whereas this one seems a bit blurry. Uh, and also I think the other page, um, it doesn't have a lot of content on it and if you've got a big picture, you kind of expect to read something about the article 
um, but there's not a lot of text. Um, I quite like the idea about the, the model actually takes up the one whole page. I like that the first letter of the paragraph is enlarged because it kind of grabs your attention from all the other words that's on the page.